Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are doing our second day of the bracha sheha call, our everything else bracha, right? We had hamotzi, mizono, hadama, and ha'etz, and pretty much everything else is sheha kol. And remember yesterday we talked about how there are three kinds of things that have the sheha kol bracha. There's drinks, right? Any drinks except for wine or grape juice, and we say kidushan. And there is sweet treats like candy and chocolate. And then the biggest one where it had the most pictures was the last one, the third one, was any food that comes from an animal, like how cows give us milk, and from milk we make all kinds of yummy things like cheese and yogurt and even ice cream. So let's have a look at some pictures of shahakal foods. And I wanna see if you can guess or figure out, if you know, which ones come from an animal or not, all right? Because not all shahakal foods come from an animal, right? Only the ones that are not a sweet treat or a drink, right? Or actually some one drink also comes from animals. So let's look at some pictures and let's see if you can figure it out. And then after that, we're gonna do a cool art project with something that's gonna look like an ice cream. Ready to see? All right, have a look over here. You're gonna need this paper, okay? We'll come back to that soon. All right, let's have a look at our Shehakol pictures. So, what about this one? Do you think this one comes from an animal? You're right, cheese comes from an animal. That's right. And how about, let's see if we can get to the next one. This one, you know what that is actually? That's salmon cooking. And that also comes from an animal. That's right. And let's see if there's gonna be another one. Ooh, cottage cheese. Do you think cottage cheese comes from an animal? You're right, it does, because cows give us milk, and from milk we make all kinds of cheese. And, oh, another kind of cheese. Well, I'll bet you know the answer to this one. That's right. <laughs> we just said how all cheese comes from milk, which comes from a cow, so cheese is a food that comes from an animal. What about yogurt? Mmm, that's vanilla yogurt, yum, yum, yum. Do you guys think that yogurt comes from an animal? Hmm, it does. Yogurt is also made out of milk. There are so many things that we can make out of milk. That comes from a cow. Oh, here's some more salmon. This is the salmon before it's cooked. Yep, that also comes from an animal. That comes from a fish. What about tea? Mm, you see that tea bag dipping in there? Tomorrow we're gonna make some tea, actually. Um, so do you think that tea comes from an animal? Hmm, nope. It doesn't. If you thought no, you were right, because tea does not come from an animal. Tea is made out of herbs and flowers and little leaves that people put inside a little tea bag. And you don't really eat the, those pieces. They just give the water a nice flavor and smell. And hmm, what about this glass of milk? Do you think that milk comes from an animal? It does. You're right. Milk comes from a cow. And all those other things we saw, like the cheese and the cottage cheese and the yogurt, they're all made out of milk. So this is where we get all those stuff from. That comes from an animal. Oh, what about candy? I see lollipops and jelly beans and, oh my gosh, so many kinds of candies. Do you think the candy comes from an animal? You're right, it does not. Candy is made out of sugar mainly and a lot of other things, but not from an animal. What about smoked salmon or lox? Do you think that comes from an animal? If you said yes, you're right, because guess what? You can hear the name of the animal in the name of the food. Smoked salmon comes from a salmon. That's a kind of fish. And what about cheesecake? Do you think cheesecake comes from an animal? Well, the main ingredient it does, that's right, cheese comes from milk, like we said before, which comes from a cow you got it and what about chicken yep this one's easy chicken comes from a chicken that's why it has the same name that some, some, sometimes it's tricky to figure out if food comes from an animal but sometimes it's really simple like when they have the same name what about cotton candy hmm do you think cotton candy comes from an animal nope it doesn't just like the candy that we saw before cotton candy is made out of sugar does not come from an animal. Sugar is a plant, it grows. What about eggs? What do you guys think? Uh, you got it, 
eggs come from a chicken or really lots of birds lay eggs, but the eggs that we eat usually come from a chicken. How about water? Does water come from an animal? Hmm, what do you think? Nope, water does not come from an animal. It comes from rain or from an ocean or a lake or a river. That's where we get it from. What about eggs? Hey, these are hard boiled eggs. We saw, the, we saw the raw ones before, they're not cooked ones. Yep, eggs come from a chicken. And what about ice cream? Mm, that's a fun treat. Well, this one actually has two different things on it. There's the ice cream and the sprinkles. Ice cream comes from an animal because it, it, you know, it's made out of milk, which comes from a cow, but the sprinkles are not from an animal, even though they're also shahakal. They're just made out of sugar. And oh, scrambled eggs, yum, yum, yum. That also comes from a chicken. And chocolate, what do you guys think? Do you think chocolate comes from an animal? Hmm, well, guess what? It doesn't. Chocolate is also made out of a plant. It's called a cocoa bean. And oh, meatballs or anything else made out of meat. What do you guys think? You think that comes from an animal? It does, it comes from a cow or sometimes a sheep or sometimes some other kind of animal. And yep, any kind of meat that comes from an animal. And what about juice, like orange juice? Nope, you can see right there what it comes from. It comes from an orange, right? Or any other kind of fruit, not from an animal. And last one is string cheese. Do you think string cheese comes from an animal? You are right. All kinds of cheese come from animals. All right, that was really fun. So now that we did that, Remember that ice cream that we saw that comes from an animal and then the sprinkles on top that don't come from an animal, right? But they're both shahakal. So get out your little ice cream paper over here. You see how it says at the bottom, ice cream has the bracha shahakal. And look, there's a little picture over there, a little cute little ice cream cone with two scoops of ice cream. But hey, I don't see any ice cream on this paper. Should we make this paper look like a real ice cream cone with some scoops of ice cream? All right, you're gonna need your little bag also and some crayons or markers. One of my crayons fell, I gotta get it. Hold on one second. Here we go, that's better. Okay, so you know what you need the crayons for? First off, we wanna color in our cone, right? What color do you wanna color in the cone? Um, I think I want a chocolate cone. All right, so I'm gonna color in my cone with a brown crayon. And I'm gonna try color all of it, but it's okay if some is left over. If you want, if you wanna challenge yourself, you know what you could do? I'm gonna do it on the bottom half so you can see. You can try to do lines going one way, like line, line, see? Line, line, like that. And then do another line going the other way. Line, line, line 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 because k okay. what does that look like over here this part does that kind of look like a waffle cone i think so or if you want to just make like a regular simple cone you could just color it in whichever one you like to do and you don't have to do a chocolate cone you could do whatever kind you like you could do lots of different colors you could do a rainbow cone that would be cool all right so now let's go down the cone for a second and let's think what do we need on top of the cone what's the part that's actually shaha cole the ice cream, that's right. So get out your little baggie and see these two, these two little guys over here. These are usually muffin cups, right? Usually we put them inside a little muffin pan and we bake them, but today they're gonna be something else because look what we're gonna do here. Instead of keeping them curved like this, we're gonna flatten them out, open them all the way so they're nice and flat. Yeah, they're all spread out now and now we're gonna stick them onto our paper right on top of the cone and look, now they are a scoop of ice cream. But that's just one scoop. Should we make a second scoop? Okay, hold on. I'm not sticking it on yet because there's one more thing we need to do. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna actually, now I'm gonna do, I have a book here that we're gonna read next, but I'm gonna just push it against this. That's an easy way to flatten it out. See how now it's nice and flat? and we can use it for a cone. So, we put the second cone, I said the second scoop on top of the first scoop. Look, now we have an ice cream cone with two scoops of ice cream. 
But hey, this is looking kind of boring. I don't want two scoops of vanilla. I want to make mine a different color. So before you stick it on, choose which flavor you want. I want to make one of my flavors raspberry. That's what I needed this crayon for. So I'm going to color in, color in my scoop with as much color as I can. This is going to be a raspberry flavor. And maybe I'll add some chocolate sprinkles on top with this one. Mmm, it's going to look super yummy. And you know what else I want to do? I want to do a toffee flavor. Mmm, so I'm going to use this color. That reminds me of toffee. And I'm going to color this one in over here. Mm. And I color it in as much as I can. So it all looks like a toffee color. See that color over there? It's a little hard to see. All right, now, if you have glue or tape, you can get that ready. And you can stick it on so that your scoops of ice cream will stay attached to your cone. Have a look over here. If you have glue, you can put it underneath and then push it down on the paper. If you have tape, you can do one on this side and one on the other side and look there you have it now your ice cream scoop is attached to the cone mm, that looks delicious should we take a lick of ice cream oh we gotta make the bracha first Baruch atah mm, that was delicious what flavor is your favorite flavor of ice cream i don't know but maybe you want to make it the flavor that you color your scoops all right, now we have a fun book to read that's actually all about ice cream. It's an elephant and piggy one. You guys may know it. You may have read it before. And you know what it's called? I see an ice cream here on the front. See, Gerald the elephant is holding his ice cream. Hmm. He has a confused look on his face. I wonder what he's thinking about. Let's read the words, the title. It says, Should I Share My Ice Cream? By Mo Willems. Hmm. Should you share your ice cream? That's a great question. Let's see what it's all about. Ice cream, get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Oh boy, oh boy. I love ice cream. You see how the elephant is holding it with his Trunk, elephants can do cool things with their trunk. Wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Hmm, Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? Hmm. 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 Maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Hmm. I think the elephant really wants to eat the ice cream, but he's not sure if he should share it with his friend. Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. Wait. Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. Oh man, how much did the elephant do? I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Hey, Piggy is not here. She does not know I have ice cream. Hmm. Eat the ice cream. Hey, where is Piggy? Guys, look what's happening to the ice cream. You see all the drips coming from it? You think there's gonna be any ice cream left by the time he decides what to do with the ice cream? What if she is sad somewhere? He's thinking about if Piggy would be sad. He's imagining that. I must find her. When I do, I will say, would you like some of my ice cream? Then she will say, thank you. That would cheer me up. And I will give her my ice cream to share. Then my best friend will be happy. I will do it. I will share my. Uh oh. What happened? And then the very little voice he says, ice cream. What happened to his ice cream? 
No. Oh, oh man. Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice cream. I blew it. What do you see over here? You look sad. This is what Piggy's saying. Would you like some of my ice cream? Thank you. That would cheer me up. Yum. Hey, that was not my plan. <laughs> oh well, this works too. The end. All right, that was a fun book to read, guys, and it was so fun to read it with you and to talk all about Shahakal with you. I'll see you again tomorrow. We're going to make a Shahakal dream together. All right, see you then.